Welcome. I have a previous video on installing FFmpeg on macOS Catalina without using Mac ports, but things have changed since I made that video earlier this year, so I wanted to make an updated video. So in order to install FFmpeg, you want to go to Safari, so I'll open that up, and then go to ffmpeg.org, and then click on Download, and you want to click on the Apple logo here, and it says static builds for Mac OS 64-bit. I'll click on that. That'll take us to this evermeet.cx site. And this is where things changed. You used to be able to download one file that had the three applications in it, which are FFmpeg, FFprobe, and FFplay. And now they're all separated out. So there are two types of builds we can download. We can do the release builds or the snapshot builds. The release builds could be considered more stable. So I tend to download the stable builds. But I'm going to do the snapshots for this video. The snapshots tend to have more fixes in them, but could have some instability, but they're likely very stable. So I'll scroll down here a bit, and you can see the FFmpeg, and it has this huge uh, string after it. And then if I go down a little more, you see we have FFmpeg 4.3.1. So the one that has the smaller number on it is a release, and this larger one is the snapshot. And you can see that on the different software. Here's FFprobe, FFplay. This also has FF server, but this has been deprecated. You can see the last compile date on this is 2018. So I'll scroll back up here. I'll click on download a zip. I'll allow that. I'll go down to the FF probe. I'll click download a zip. And I'll go down to FF play, download a zip. So now you have to download them separately. So I'll go to my downloads folder. They should be downloaded in just a minute here. Okay, there we go. So this automatically unzip them. If it hadn't, you can double click on it and it should unzip them. So I can close this website now. Next, I'll open up a terminal. You can go into your applications folder and then utilities and then open up terminal or you can hit command space and just start typing terminal and hit enter and then the terminal will come up. So I need to move into the downloads folder so I'll type cd space tilde forward slash downloads. I'll hit enter. I'll type ls here. It says terminal would like to access your files and downloads. I'll hit ok. I'll clear my screen. Here, let's do that again. Okay, so we have FFmpeg, FFplay, and FFprobe. So I want to move these into USR local bin. So I'll type ls space forward slash USR forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll hit enter, and it says no such file or directory. And I guess I should mention that I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll have the commands I'm typing out so you don't have to copy them from the screen. You can copy them from my website. So this directory doesn't exist. I need to create it. So I'll type sudo, which is sudo, space, mkdir, space, dash p, space, forward slash, usr, forward slash, local, forward slash, bin. And I'll hit enter. It'll ask me for my password. I'll type that in. There we go. So this created a directory called bin. When you use p here, this will create other directories. So if the local directory doesn't exist, it will create that and bin. It'll do as many as you want. You could add 10 on here and it would create them all. Okay, so I'll clear my screen. So now I want to copy the files I downloaded. So I'll type sudo space cp space ff asterisk space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll hit enter. That will copy those files. I can type ls space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. And you can see the files are there. I'll clear my screen. Next, we need to remove these files from quarantine. So I'll type sudo space xattr space dash dr space com dot apple dot quarantine space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash ff asterisk. I'll hit enter. Okay. So next, we'll check the path. So I'll type echo space dollar sign path in uppercase, I'll hit enter. And we want to make sure the path has this USR local bin. So if that doesn't have that there, what you need to do 
is type cd to go to your home directory. I'll clear my screen here. Type touch space tilde forward slash dot zshrc. I'll hit enter. Next I'll type open space dash e space tilde forward slash dot zshrc. So what open e will do, it will open up this file and text edit. Next we want to type path plus equals forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll save this and I'll close it. I did command s command w to do that. And then I want to load this file. So let's look at the echo path again. And now I want to load this. I'll type in source space dot zshrc. I'll hit enter. Now I will echo the path again, okay? And you can see it added this USR local bin. Now it was already on here, so that was unnecessary. But if you don't have this at the beginning, it will add it on at the end. So if you're using the Bash shell, those have different instructions. I'll put a link below to a previous tutorial I did. And in that tutorial, it tells you how to do that. So I'm going to remove the ZSHRC file. And if you want to know what shell you're running, you can type echo space dollar sign shell and I have Z shell there. Clear my screen. So now I can run FFmpeg, FFplay, and FFprobe on the command line. So I'm not going to go over the usage of FFmpeg in this video, but I'll put a link below to a page on my website where I have a bunch of different tasks that you can do with FFmpeg. They're almost like recipes. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.